<laughs> Every family has its legends. <laughs> For John and Jackie Williford and their children, it's the story of a miserable camping trip on the Olympic Peninsula in the summer of 2011. It all started when the Willifords did what many Northwest families do on coastal camping trips. They harvested some shellfish and cooked them up with garlic and oregano. Oh, they're amazing. I'm like, wow, these are pretty much the best mussels I've ever eaten. And I think I've said that. They I sent a the text to Jack. They're the best mussels in the whole like, world. Is that what you said? Yeah. yeah. Two-year-old Jessica and five-year-old JC were the first to get sick. Next, John got sick. They just were so violently ill, and I just knew it had to be the mussels. And that next week, I called the health department and said, I think we got shellfish poisoning or something from the shellfish. Um, and that's when all the calls started to come in. <laughs> it turned out that the Willifords were the first confirmed case in the United States of people getting diuretic shellfish poisoning. DSP comes from eating shellfish contaminated by a toxin produced by a type of algae called dinophyses. It's been present in northwest waters for decades, but not at levels considered toxic. You know, it's unfortunate to discover you have a new toxin present by people getting ill. Yeah, let's put another two. Neil Harrington is an environmental biologist for the Jamestown Sklalem tribe in Squim, Washington. Every week, he collects water and shellfish samples from the same bay where the Willifords harvested mussels two summers ago. He tests for dinophyses and other naturally occurring toxins in shellfish. Shellfish are filter feeders. So they are filtering liters and liters and liters of water every day. If they're filtering phytoplankton that is a little bit toxic, when we eat the shellfish, we're eating essentially that, that toxin that's been concentrated over time. A number of factors can increase the size and severity of harmful algal blooms. As the population of the Northwest rises and more land is developed, more fertilizers and nutrients get washed into the waterways. The more nutrients you add to a water body, the more algae there is. And the more algae you get, the more chance that some of those algae may be harmful. But on top of the local problem of nutrient runoff is the larger issue of global warming. Scientists believe the increase in prevalence and toxicity of dinophyses is linked to changing ocean chemistry and warming waters. There's a whole lot of changes that are occurring in Puget Sound and um, not, you know, and, and they're not occurring in isolation, and that's the challenge for, for scientists. Stephanie Moore is a biological oceanographer for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. She studies Puget Sound's harmful algae. Most algal blooms here occur during warmer weather. Because climate change is expected to raise temperatures in the coming decades, Moore says that could directly affect when and where harmful algal blooms occur. We're going to have to look for these blooms in, in places and during times of the year when traditionally we haven't had to worry about them. Their impacts could then span a much larger time of the year and that could cost a lot more money in terms of the effort that needs to go into monitoring and protecting the public from the toxins that they produce. Washington State has one of the most advanced algae and shellfish testing systems in the country. It's in part because of the state's 800 miles of shore and its multi-million dollar shellfish industry. Today, Moore is testing a new piece of equipment that has the potential to raise the bar even higher. The Environmental Sample Processor, or ESP, automatically collects water from a nearby shellfish bed, analyzes the samples, and sends more a photograph of the results. This is a huge advancement in our ability just to, to keep tabs on what's going on and in near real time. It's, it's amazing. Moore says she hopes that next year the ESP will be equipped to monitor for dinophyses, the toxin that caused the Williford family to get sick. In the meantime, Jackie Williford says she'll continue to be extremely wary of eating shellfish. I think it's scary because you just, you just don't know what you're getting anymore in foods. As for the rest of the family, well, not everyone has sworn off mussels. It do doesn't change a thing for me. For him. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs>